Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel for another episode of Tetris Talk. Now, today, things are a little bit different, as yesterday was a very big day for the channel in two, uh, well, in two senses of the word. The first being, well, there was a very important parody video that was released, and if you haven't had a chance to watch that, I invite you to go back and give it a look, after you've watched this video, of course, because uh, that is one of my favorite types of projects to put together, and they they take a while to put together, so we're really proud of how they come together and how they end up being. But the other reason that yesterday was important is because yesterday marks one year since the channel was started. And uh, things started pretty slow and pretty humble, um, as most YouTube channels do. The only way that a YouTube channel really takes off overnight is if you get super lucky by the algorithm, or more commonly, if you're starting up a secondary channel as a, a larger creator already. But I did want to take a moment and look at some of the highlights and cool milestones that have been hit in this past year of being on this platform and, you know, kind of be able to refer back to this in the future when we have uh, well, more subscribers, more views, more videos, more content, and more feedback. So uh, a couple of interesting things to note is over the first year, I've gained a total of about 200 subscribers. Now I've lost a couple along the way, which is fine. That's understandable. And people's uh, tastes and preferences change, or even sometimes you just kind of misclick. I mean, uh, it kind of hurts to know that there are people out there that are no longer watching or no longer enjoying the content but that's all a name of the game, and if that's the decision that you've made, well, I understand that, and I can't hold it against you personally. So, despite having gained over about 200 subscribers uh, over the past year, we're currently sitting at about one, or at 175 at the time of this recording, which is really cool. It's about the time, or about the milestone that I was hoping to be at uh, as of a couple of months ago, projecting out to this date uh, and how fast the channel was growing. So it's really cool that uh, it was really about to, or able to go about spot on with what I was expecting. Uh, a couple of other important things that have happened in this year, and I've got the, the schematic up on the screen now that kind of shows the overview of, of channel performance. We've amassed almost 30,000 views total uh, with 1.5 thousand watch hours which is really cool to me because, well, the watch hour requirement to be considered for monetization is 4,000 watch hours in a 12 month period. And within our first year, we're not quite halfway there, but we are a solid amount into that. And we could easily be at 3,000 watch hours by this time next year, uh, or maybe even more, depending on how many more people come on board and actually watch things. So. Uh, we'll just kind of have to keep an eye on it and see where that ends up and then compare it back to where we were at at this point uh, in a year from now. The highest amount of views in one single day was 312, which uh, nothing's really come close to that. Most of the days I'm sitting at around 120 or 160 views. It kind of fluctuates somewhere between there. Uh, but since March 19th, we've been averaging over 100 views a day. Uh, there have been a couple of days that have been a little bit below that, but uh, overall, we've had a fairly consistent performance uh, from the channel, bringing in 100 views a day on average, or over 100 views a day, which is really cool to see. Uh, a couple of other interesting points of data which were really fun to me is that the top three countries that people watch content from my channel from is predominantly the US uh, with about 60% of those views, but the next two slots belong to the United Kingdom and Canada. Uh, a couple of other notable ones that made me uh, smile a little bit actually was views that are coming from Brazil. Malta, Argentina, Romania, and uh, Indonesia, which really makes me uh, smile that there is that far of a reach. And if you're from one of those countries, or perhaps even a different one, let me know in the comments down below, as I'm interested to know uh, where you're from and 
what brought you to the channel in the first place. And uh, well, thanks for being here. The other uh, things that uh, I wanted to touch on is that most of my views do come from the mobile phone platform, which isn't terribly surprising as the mobile app is predominantly the source for YouTube uh, viewing in particular. Uh, the next most common, I believe, was uh, on game consoles, actually. Uh, I, I would have expected desktop to be the second one, but uh, no, that was not the case. 92% of my view audience is male, uh, which isn't bad, and that may equalize out, or maybe not, uh, depending on the type of content that I create and who's drawn into it. So. Just an interesting statistic there. And then the vast majority of the audience that I have is, uh, well, it's 70% actually, uh, within the ages of 25 to 34, which is cool, because that's about the demographic that we're aiming for. I don't actually have any data on the 13 to 17 age group, which is fine by me. I don't really have any concerns or issues with that. Now, one thing that I want to move over to or transition to talking about is the top 10 videos in the past year. And when we do this in future years, we'll actually be doing top 10 videos of all time. Uh, but at this point, we're a year in, so this is top 10 videos of, of the past year and of all time. Uh, but we'll probably expand and do both in future iterations. So the 10th most viewed video on my channel, this one actually makes me really happy that it's here. It is the character spotlight for Loki as a playable character within uh, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3. And the reason that Loki makes me really happy is, for those of you who don't know, I think I've mentioned it in some of my other videos, I do have a Loki cosplay that I have, and I'm hoping to make a couple of upgrades or adjustments to that later this year. And, uh, well, when the world returns back to normal, I'd like to go to a Comic-Con and showcase that, because I'm really proud of it, and I think I look really, really good in that outfit. But uh, that comes in at... Uh, 573 views at the time of this recording. The number nine spot goes to Cyclops, the same character spotlight series with Cyclops. That's just under 600 views, probably will be at 600 views by the time you end up seeing this video. Uh, the number eight spot goes to Phoenix at 607 views. And a pretty nice jump from spot eight to spot seven with the DLC prediction wish list. Uh, that I put out right before the uh, Rise of Phoenix DLC was announced, uh, where I speculated on a couple of characters that I'd like to see implemented into the game, and even some that I'd still like to see, or I think would be fun to have included. Uh, that currently has about 651 views, and though I don't expect that one to continue to amass a lot of views because it's dated at this point, where all of the current DLC has been announced and released, for Ultimate Alliance 3, it's still really cool to see that that's how that one's performed. Now, the number six video, this one actually was my top video for a while, uh, but it's slowed down a little bit as time has progressed, where we have the character spotlight for Black Widow at 708 views, probably closer to 710 or 715, or maybe even higher by the time you're watching this video, if you're watching it the day that it came out. Of course, it's gonna be higher in the future. But uh, that one did very, very well for quite a long time uh, before other videos just became uh, more favored or people continued watching through or referring back to these videos. I'm not entirely certain exactly uh, what all goes into those features. The number five spot, now we're getting into the top five, but this one goes to the character spotlight for Psylocke, which is coming in at 753 views. So that one has done very well. And Psylocke is a character that I think I underestimate when it comes to Ultimate Alliance 3 and would like to mess around with more. I think she was very instrumental in some of the speed runs that I've done, though I did not implement her into my current world record run because, well, uh, Thanos Infinite is just makes basically everyone else that you could have on your team obsolete. The number four slot goes to Invisible Woman. This is actually the most recent uh, video in my top 10. Uh, and it's really cool to see that that one has taken off as quickly as it did. That one came out on March 30th and currently has 760 views. 
shortly ahead of that, we have the character spotlight for Crystal at 775 views. Invisible Woman may very well overtake that and continue pushing her way up in the ranks uh, with uh, you know, maybe overtaking Crystal or possibly even becoming the top viewed video of my character spotlight series at some point. Now this is where there's a little bit of a break in the numbers because between the number three and number two spot we break into the thousands with the number two video having 1,138 views at the time of this recording and that video is of course for Scarlet Witch and she's an interesting character because she doesn't play the same as a lot of the other characters in the game so I can understand why she would have a little bit more of a draw uh, to people as they seek to understand her and how she works. And the final video on our list, the number one most viewed video on my channel is clocking it at a whopping 10,000 views. And that is the guide on how to unlock the free extra characters located within the uh, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3. And there are six characters that you can unlock for free, base, uh, just with the base game, as, and that is including two free DLC characters that were added about a month after the game's release. I'd love to see this game get an additional set of DLC, but I'm not holding my breath for it. Now, the couple of things that I wanna to touch on for upcoming video series that I'm, I'm really excited about, I've got a lot more content planned for Ultimate Alliance 3, so if that's the content you're here for, don't worry, it's not going away. Though I do expect it to take a little bit of a backseat or a little bit more of a backseat come September, as there is a, another Marvel game coming to the PlayStation 4. And given that I have one of those, I plan on playing it and making uh, videos discussing the gameplay mechanics, doing a Let's Play series on it. Uh, I mean, Marvel is one of the biggest driving forces uh, of my list of interests and my hobbies. So when something big Marvel related comes out, you better bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to be drawn towards it and talk about it. So look forward to that as that game is coming closer to release in September of this year. But that's about gonna do it for what I had in mind for today's video. So if you enjoyed this type of format and seeing what it's like, uh, or seeing the backside of the channel and how it performs, feel free to leave a like on this video. Again, don't forget to comment down below uh, anything that I've mentioned previously or uh, any questions that you might have that you want to have answered as I tend to refer back to these videos for the normal AMA sessions that I do within this format. And I'm happy to, you know, uh, pay attention to those questions and really answer any of them that you might have happen to have to throw my way. But until then, thanks again for watching and thanks for sticking around and here's to another year of great content and videos. Take care and have a great rest of your day.